Welcome back to our continuing adventures on the Let's Defend platform. Today we are tackling for February 28th, 2022, 10.48 p.m. SOC 169, possible eye door attack detected, event ID 119, type web attack. And it looks like this is against web server 1005. Alert trigger reason. Consecutive requests to the same page. Again, email will not be a factor in this. And while we're waiting, let's go ahead and grab this and let's run it through our usual battery of tests. So we, all the stuff will come back up. And so what is an IDOR? So from Port Swagger, indirect or insecure direct object reference. So effectively being able to directly reference some sort of record so like in the example they give being able to pull up a particular account number or customer account number or a static file that would be on the actual server itself so we'll include that and it looks like it's constantly to get user info Oh, okay, so that's so somebody who's using this machine to go out and take a look at stuff. And then here's, here's everything coming in for the 134. So, get user info, permitted, code 200, and so they're getting user ID 2. User ID 2. User ID 1. User ID 3. So basically, they're just kind of iterate, or iterating by one to get the different user IDs through all this portion. Yeah, I would say that would kind of count. Whereas, you know, normally you get logged into a site and you should only be able to view your own stuff, um, your own account details. Obviously, something's not quite right here. <laughs> Uh, time to take the uh, the web dev back behind the shed and give him a uh... <laughs> a security lesson with a rubber hose. <laughs> oh cripe! Okay, this is the last one. So fifteen is it? Web server. Okay, so web surfing doesn't help. Command history, there's nothing there. This is for the 15th, when in reality it is the 28th of the alert, so nothing here. And process list, anything here that stands out is odd. No, not really. Of course, I would wouldn't really expect there to be a, a process because it's effectively just iterating whatever the web app is on this thing and they're just looking for info but I suppose it doesn't hurt to take a look see if anything immediately stands out which nothing does okay so um, like before I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording just to limit or save time and I'm just going to basically grab the contents of the perimeter firewall proxy logs dump them in get them formatted to basically tell the tale of what's going on here but it effectively is um, just iterating the user ID by one and whatever details come through there and I believe they were all status 200 which means they all were successful so this is definitely a true positive detection. So 
Give me one second, I'll be right back. Or at least by the looks of it. Okay, went through, got everything all put together. So in order of operation, they check user ID 2, user ID 1, user ID 3, then 4, then 5. So, and all of them were confirmed. St uh, response status 200. So they all went through and were all successful. Uh, so let's go ahead and take ownership. If you're able to attack it, we'll just go ahead and do containment. We'll limit the, uh, the issue right now. So let's see, understand why it was triggered. And the alert is, okay, consecutive request to the same page. That page being the, the 172, 16, 17, 15, slash get underscore user underscore info. And basically all of them are then followed up with the command question mark user underscore ID equals and then the number. So as I just said, number two, one, three, four, five. And that's external to internal. What's the digital ocean? So US IP. Again with questionable rep all the way through. Looks like it's a known scanner. Jet crap for IBM. It is in the database. Views confidence is low. Eighteen percent. Most recent was a four days ago. Interesting. And nothing for Kaspersky. I was just basically throwing that in there just because of the fact I, I discovered that recently. So it's like, oh, let's just see about trying to incorporate it. So we know that it is indeed IDOR. It is malicious because somebody's going through and trying to grab user IDs. It is IDOR. It is not a planned test. It is internet to company network. And it was successful. We've already initiated containment procedures because ultimately we want that. No, 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 one. Digital Ocean. And do we need to? Yes, because it was successfully able to do. Performing IDOR to enumerate user IDs for user IDs 1 to 5 have been successfully viewed. So we'd want to see about changing in the info that would be there. And that'll finish that. Go and close it. It is a true positive. We'll copy and paste that in there. And we close the alert for a true positive. Hooray! <laughs> I'll grab the... the Port Swagger um, page for IDOR and put that in the notes. Hey, I can get behind that. 
I can get behind that. So there we go for February 28th, 2022, 10.48 p.m. This has been SOC 169, possible IDOR attack detected, event ID 119, type web attack. And with all that being said, I will see everyone in the next video.